What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It is I, it is me, it is your boy E to the R to the I to the C. And this right here is the Life and Times of Eric blog. Um, we are back again for another episode. We're back again for another day, another hour, another minute, another, another you know what I'm saying, moment of time that we get to spend together, you and I. So um, if you see a shadow, it's because of the sun. Uh, these these sun, sunny days, we have in the sun, literally sky beam on me, and it, it'd be so uh, sunny on me. Like you can see like a little shadow, like look at that. Yeah, so it's kind of sunny at, at certain days or whatever. But you know, of course, I got my co-host with me, T Matt Heart Boogie, Heart Boogie Sleep. She didn't get that much good sleep last night. She just was just so congested. She was just up, you know. It's crazy how babies are congested. Then all the way up to like past one or close to two. Then boom, all that congestion just goes away and they stop. But we got T-Mat behind us. T-Mat, do you want to wave? Yes. Go ahead and wave. They can't see you. Wave, T-Mat. You want to blow a kiss? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess y'all can see a little bit of it. You may not be able to see her because my big brolic shoulders, you know, are in front of her. But I guess that's what happens when you're 5'8 and you're 255. You know, you have brolic shoulders, big body, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, I love myself. I believe in myself. I trust myself. And regardless of what others think about me, it's okay to be 5'8, 255. That's okay. As long as you love yourself, that's all that matters. So, anyways, back to my point of what I was going to say. It's good to be back. It's good to be back every day to be able to come into your home, phone, device, iPad, Amazon, Kindle, whatever you're listening and watching me on. It's great to be in. Um, it's great for you to be tuning in. It's great to, for us to you know talk to each other because like I always say, and I said, if you miss good, you're my accountability partner, I'm yours. So we have to make sure that we're accountable for our actions and accountable for us to do what we can say that we're going to do. And that's for us to go after our dreams, capture our goals, and be the best person that we can be while we're living on this earth. Because at the end of the day, when it's all time for us to clock out, go see the G-Man, we got to make sure that we're accountable for what our actions are. Even if you made mistakes and you committed sins, you have to ask the Lord for forgiveness. Because I know I'm not perfect. I've committed sins and I've asked the Lord to, to forgive me for my sins and the things I've done wrong. Whether they, they might be slapping somebody or punching somebody, whatever. This do no harm to others, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've done harm and I, I don't want to just be not have forgiveness in my heart or, or ask for forgiveness. Because no matter what the sin is, no one's perfect. No one has time to judge others, you know, especially if you're not perfect. So that's why a lot of times instead of me judging others and what others do, I need to be worried about what Eric does and why Eric can fix his attitude, how Eric can fix his mentality, and how Eric can fix himself. And I think a lot of times when we look at it, look at situations like that in regards of what can I do to be better and that instead of what are they doing over there? What are they doing? Oh, I, I, gotta, I gotta pick up the phone and call. I gotta be a Karen. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be a Jeff. I gotta call and report some people. You know, when we spend too much time worried about that, then we're not worried about how we can get ourselves together, how we can get ourselves mentally right, how we can get ourselves to the point where we look at each other in the mirror and be like, you know something? I've been doing everything I can do for the Lord. I've been doing everything I can do for myself to be a better person instead of worrying about what other people do. That's why uh, First Lady always says to me all the time, she was like, well, you know, uh, do you worry about hanging out with people or so-and-so? You know, some of my friends, uh, uh, some people didn't get invited to some and they're, or they're aggravated, and they aggravated, they didn't get invited or some of their husbands aggravated, they didn't get invited. And I've even said this to other guys. I'm like, man, I don't get invited to stuff. It doesn't bother me now. Some people get so worked up and bothered by if they get if they don't get invited or if they invite somebody to something and they don't, and they don't re reciprocate the offer. Me personally, I don't think like that. And I use this as an example because I think sometimes we spend so much time worried about what the other person thinks or trying to be cool or wondering why that person doesn't want to be our friend or invite us to this or do that, that we forget about who we are and forget about what the main purpose of something is and how we feel. You know, me personally, you know, I've always been the type of person, like I told First Lady, if I invite you to something and then you don't invite me, cool. 
That just means less money for me to have to spend. I just save myself a gift, save myself gas, and all that other time. You know, I, I'm just the type of individual that I'm okay if I, Eric is not invited, if Eric is not welcome, I'm okay with that. You know why? Because Eric knows thyself. Eric loves thyself. And Eric knows he has the authority to do whatever he wants to do and that he can do it if I just put my mind to it. So when you speak like that of yourself, you think like that, you don't worry about if people... Are they going to invite me if I, I, I don't care. If I invite you to something, you can't. Cool. If you don't invite me, cool. It's no problem. Bro, trust. It's no problem. And at first lady was like, man, this is very rare. Some people aren't like that. They feel some type of way. I don't I don't feel any type of way. All I do is make a mental note and be like, all right, cool. You just didn't want me to come? Cool. It is what it is. I guess me extending the olive branch, thought we were cool. Guess we weren't. But, you know, maybe we are cool and you just... It's a different type of uh, groove, and you just wanted certain people there. Whatever it may be, it's all good. It's all cool. I just know at the end of the day, I'm not going to sweat anything like that. But I see people sweating stuff like that. And I'm not going to sit here and judge you and be like, well, you should stop sweating the small stuff. What I'm saying to you is we all need to stop sweating the small stuff. I've sweat the small stuff. I've sweated the small stuff like, well, what do you mean they said this in that email? What does that mean? When I, All I need to really do is look at it and just walk away and just keep scrolling. When I see something, just keep scrolling. When I see something, just click next or close out that email. We've all sweated the small stuff. I've sweated the small stuff to the point where not only did I sweat it, that I went, I went and became a habitual line stepper because I got so mad about something that was so small and, 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 and tedious and now I made it into a bigger situation because I couldn't let it go. So we, I'm not just talking about you. I'm talking about all of us, you and me, because I'm right along with you. So I've been working on, and I hope you've been working on, just letting go of the small stuff, letting go of things that don't matter, and just making sure that we focus on what does matter. Obtaining our goals, being who we can be, taking care of the people we love, and making sure that while we're on this planet, we maximize it to the fullest so that when it's time for us to check out, the Lord won't say, you know, I gave you all these dreams and goals and ambitions and things you could do with yourself. But all you wanted to do was be messy, be gossip and worry about small stuff when you could have easily just let that go and became something more than you ever be beyond. You wanted a big house, a big car. You wanted this. You wanted that. I gave you these things. I gave you the opportunity to have these things, but you were too busy worried about being gossip, too busy worried about the small things, too busy worried about not moving on from situations or not having the ability to have forgiveness. You know, forgiveness is a trait that people speak about, but people don't really have. And I have to realize that too. If any of you committed wrongs, any sins or anything like that, I have to realize, you know, I have to ask the Lord for forgiveness. And I just like, please, Lord, please give me forgiveness so that I don't do this again no more. So I can just stop doing what I'm doing and it won't happen again, you know. And sometimes it may happen again, even after I said I wasn't going to do it no more, you know. I said I, I, I wanted to stop roughing people up. Then it happened again. And I just like, you know, I feel bad because, you know, I'm asking for forgiveness on it. But then it happens again. So it's a situation where it's like. You, you gotta want to change, but you gotta want to want to improve and make sure you you do better at changing. And I've come to realize that all that is part of the situation of forgiveness. You have to forgive yourself to the point where you're not condoning and being down on yourself to the point where you feel like, well, I've already did it once. I might as well just keep on going. No, stop, change, go back. You can be forgiven, and the Lord will forgive you. You have to ask for forgiveness. And he will forgive you. So I know me personally, I definitely ask for forgiveness on things. I definitely ask for him to forgive my sins on things in a sense where, you know, treating other people a certain way, not saying things about other people, not saying things to them, you know what I'm saying? Treating people with respect and not just doing things out wildly and out of pocket to the point where I'm just like, bro, I can't believe I'm out here doing this, bro. I'm out here treating other people like this kind of way, you know what I'm saying? Or being or being the type of person that's more friendlier, you know, loving thy neighbor more, even though I had the opportunity to help somebody, not helping them, even though because I don't feel like helping them. You know, just those are all sins that, you know, we got to work on as ourselves and work on whatever it may be. You know, your sin, your sin might be, you know, pride, you know, not asking for help. You know, it might be gluttony, whatever it may be. You just have to ask the Lord for it, ask for him for forgiveness, and then making sure that you work on being a better person. And I know me personally, I'm saying all this because this is things that I ask every day. Like, yo, I just want to be a better person, Lord. I don't want to be the type of person where I'm just so angry at myself or feel like I can't be a better person. And because I feel like I can't be, then I just backslide and just go do whatever I can because it's like it is what it is. And I don't want to do that. I mean, 
saved? What's the point of being saved by the Lord and knowing that, knowing that Jesus Christ is my Lord, Lord and Savior and that he's there to bless me, he's there to save me, there to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be with him. You know, I've been dunked out of the water. What was the point of all that and knowing all that if I feel like um, he's not going to be there to help me or to help me get through these issues that I'm going through, whatever it may be. So just be a constant reminder, constant reminder to you, constant reminder to myself. Love thyself. Love yourself regardless of what you've done, what you've done in the past, or the future, or even right now. Just, you know, ask for forgiveness and ask to do better. And definitely make sure you read certain scriptures that help you get strengthen your ability to say no to the certain things that you don't like, you know. Whether it be having a prideful attitude, gluttony, being a friend that's a, a, a messy baby, relying on thy friend, whatever it may be, just make sure that you are the type of individual that you can you you can look at yourself at the end of the day and be like, you know, I'm proud of myself. Because I can always say that by myself. Some people be like, well, how do you sleep at night? I sleep peacefully because I can look in the mirror and know that I ain't do no sucker stuff to, to, to get on, to be somebody else, or to do anything for money, you know? And that's the same fear we have to have about when it comes to the Lord. We can look at ourselves peacefully in the mirror knowing that we did everything that we could to be the best child of God that we could for the Lord. And we didn't allow past mistakes to make us feel like we're, we weren't never going to change or we're going to constantly be backslide and to continue to do wild things. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, share that message with you. I've been thinking about it, praying about it. And I'm praying about it in the sense where I'll be praying about it in my mind, trying to do better, making sure that I'm doing better and just how I feel about that, that situation in the sense where, you know, us as people just doing the best that we can. So, but yeah, man, I, 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 I just want to let y'all know I love y'all. I appreciate everybody that watches me and I continue to keep sharing my, my mixtape, my vlogs like a rock. Continue to keep sharing. I appreciate everybody that, that watches my vlogs and continues to keep sharing them around like a hot mixtape in the streets. So yeah, just remember, 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 remember. Keep living your life because if you don't, your life is not going to live you.